Hello, and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode, number 749, the category Brainy Tuesday, number 37. This is the 21 question trivia quiz with questions from random categories, but these questions are much more difficult than our standard pub quiz or random general knowledge trivia. These are tough questions, so good luck on today's quiz. Question number one. It is still stamped as FD on all British coins, and Parliament recognized it as a title in 1554. What is this ecclesiastical title first conferred in 1521 by Pope Leo X that is still held by British monarchs? This ecclesiastical title is the Defender of the Faith. Question number two. The Catholic center of Western Germany, known for its Mardi Gras celebration and its magnificent Gothic cathedral, the largest in Northern Europe. What is this industrial city on the Rhine that doesn't smell as good as its name implies? I'm sure it doesn't smell bad, but its name is Cologne and it doesn't smell that good. Question number three. Discovered by Christian Huygens in 1655 and topped with smoggy orange clouds that obscure the surface, which may be covered with liquid ethane lakes, what is the name of Saturn's biggest moon, the second largest in our solar system? They used to think it was the biggest, so they named it Titan, but now it's the second biggest. Titan. Question number four. After defeating his brother Huascar in a bloody civil war, he was taken prisoner by the Spanish conquistador Francisco Pizarro in 1532 and subsequently put to death. Who was this last ruler of the Incan Empire? His name is Atahualpa. Question number five. The first actor to play the Shakespearean characters of Henry V, King Lear, and Hamlet. What man held shares in both the Blackfriars and Globe Theaters, both of which were built by his father? His name was Richard Burbage. Question six. It has a characteristic pungent, sickly sweet smell and taste and is used as a solvent and in the synthesis of organic chemical compounds. What is this clear, colorless, toxic, carcinogenic liquid formerly used as an anesthetic whose chemical name is trichloromethane? It is now called chloroform. Question number seven. A type of Asian starling with a glossy black body and yellow head decorations found mainly in India and Sri Lanka. What is this variety of bird that when trained in mimicry is superior to a macaw? The answer is a minor bird. Question number eight. Located on the Gulf of Gunav, it replaced Cap Haitian in 1770 as the capital of Saint Domingue, and after an 1804 Toussaint L'Ouverture led revolt, it became the capital of its nation. What is this capital city of Haiti?
The answer is Port-au-Prince. Question number nine. Also known as the Ardennes Offensive, it was the major German offensive campaign on the Western Front during World War II. What was the name of this battle, the last German offensive during the war? It was most commonly known as the Battle of the Bulge. Question number 10. He conquered Egypt and became Sultan in 1175. Then, in his conquest of Syria, he precipitated the Third Crusade by recovering Jerusalem in 1187. Who was this Kurdish-born Turkish warrior who made peace with Richard the Lionhearted in 1192? His name was Saladin. Question number 11. The interior of the island is extremely mountainous, with Mount Ida at as its highest peak. Its two major cities are Shania and Heraklion the capital, though its ancient capital is more famous. What is the name of this Greek island, the home of Knossos? The home of Knossos is on Crete. Question number 12. Her four hands are often depicted holding a sword, a shield, a noose, or the severed hand of a giant, and usually wears jewelry consisting of skulls or severed hands. Who is this destructive goddess of Hinduism whose name literally means black? The answer is Kali. Question 13. Halfway through, he suffered a stroke and died. What was the title of the final novel by Charles Dickens that focuses on the title character's uncle, John Jasper, a precentor, choirmaster, and opium addict who is in love with his pupil, Rosa Budd? The title of that was The Mystery of Edwin Drood. Question number 14. When Hale Salas became the emperor of Ethiopia, this group saw him as the Messiah, naming themselves after his princely name. Although they don't eat pork or drink coffee, they hold ganja, or hashish, as a sacrament. What is this Jamaican religious group? The answer is Rastafarians, or Rastafarianism. Question 15. Book 4 is entitled The Candle in the Wind. Book 3 is The Ill-Made Night. Book 2 is The Queen of Air and Darkness. And the first part is The Sword in the Stone. What is this novel of King Arthur by T.H. White? The name of that novel is The Once and Future King. Question number 16. Greek for well-born. What is the name of the study of ways in which the physical and mental quality of a people can be controlled and improved by selective breeding and the belief that this should be done? The word we're looking for is eugenics. Question 17. A hot air balloon with five passengers and a dog is blown off course and lands on an uncharted island. What is this Jules Verne novel where one of the castaways is saved by medicine given to him 
by the reclusive Captain Nemo. The answer is the mysterious island. Question number 18. What is the name of the man who led negotiations with the Wampanoag and supervised the Plymouth colonists' military training and is best remembered in a Longfellow narrative poem? The answer is Miles Standish. Question 19. What is the novel about the Jewish handyman Yaakov Bach whose generosity is repaid with misfortune, in prison awaiting trial for a murder he didn't commit, that won the 1967 Pulitzer Prize for Bernard Malamud? The title of that novel is called The Fixer. Question 20. They appear in such novels as The Melted Coins, It Happened at Midnight, While the Clock Ticked, and Hunting for Hidden Gold. Who are these juvenile detective brothers? Collectively, they are known as the Hardy Boys, Frank and Joe. And that is it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. We are now well over 4,000 subscribers and moving along nicely. Tomorrow will be episode number 750. We are now three quarters of the way to our 1,000 trivia quiz goal. We will be there, I think it's September-ish of this year, just before my birthday. Um, and I'll be leaving the UK in August. So I'm trying to gonna, going to try to get ahead. So while I'm traveling, the trivia quizzes are still popping up. But they should all wrap up around the end of September. We'll hit 1,000 trivia quizzes. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do after that. Uh, taking suggestions but I think I might do maybe drop down to one a week or one a month or one big one every now and then or maybe host live trivia on YouTube or maybe start a YouTube based trivia game show I don't know if that'd be possible I'm currently going over ideas so if you've got any ideas on which direction this channel should take the trivia game let me know as for right now, question 21 for today, the Brainy Tuesday. The title character, a wealthy Englishman who gradually sinks into a life of crime and deception, lives out his life in beauty and perfection and appears not to age at all, while a portrait of him ages and turns his once handsome face into a hideous mask in what book? I believe it's by Oscar Wilde. The name of that novel is The Portrait of Dorian Gray. Thank you guys for watching. Check back tomorrow for Who Am I Part 3.